What's up, friends? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to pop on here today to do a quick little review of the new Victoria Beckham Eyewear Eyeshadow Sticks. You guys know I love this formula. And now we have three new beautiful shades for spring 2024. We have Ballet, Cornflower, and Shroom. I will be swatching all of them, doing a daylight application. And of course, I will show you guys any relevant comparisons in the existing Victoria Beckham Eyewear lines. If you guys are interested in any of these three new shades, then keep watching. All right, friends, let's dive in. These are the three new shades of the Victoria Beckham Eyewear Eyeshadow Sticks. You guys know I love this formula. Very creamy, very blendable, and also very long wearing. Doesn't emphasize a lot of texture on the lids. I'm going to show you guys real quick the swatches of all three shades. So right here from the top, guys, we have Ballet, which is a beautiful soft pink, has a little bit of a gold shimmer and a little bit of a peachy undertone. Then we have Cornflower. This is going to be a Cornflower Blue, and this one is going to be more so in a matte formula, so it does not have any shimmer, guys. Very, very popular for spring, I will say. I see a lot of brands coming out with blues. And then finally, guys, we have a beautiful neutral shade. This is called Shroom. And I would describe this as a cool tone brown, maybe slightly taupey. And this one has kind of like a silvery finish to it. I'm gonna kick things off with a demo of the shade Ballet. This is the soft pink. I'll show you guys an even better swatch right here of just the Ballet shade. As I mentioned, soft pink, little bit of a peachy undertone. Okay, it's not super frosty. And what I really like about this shade is that it has like a gorgeous gold reflect. So let's get this on one of my eyelids here. It's a little bit cloudy today, but I feel like we have some good natural light. Now, if you've never tried these before, I already have another review video showing you guys all of the other shades. So if you want to go and kind of see what those shades look like, I will link that video down below. And if you've seen that review or if you have tried these, you will know they're very, very long lasting. So what I normally do is I just do one eye and then I kind of Lightly blend it out with a brush. You could use your finger, but I like to use a synthetic brush. I'll link the ones that I'm using for these demos in the description box down below. And then once you get it on, guys, it sets and it lasts all day. These do not crease at all. I love the longevity that I get from these. And I like to actually do it along the lower lash line as well. The ballet shade, because it has kind of like that peachy undertone, I feel like this one looks the most natural out of the three. Actually, I'm pretty surprised that she didn't have a pink color in the first place. I feel like that's one of the first shades of eyeshadow sticks that we normally see from these more luxury brands. So there it is with nothing and there it is with ballet. I'll get it. Second eye covered right here. And I purchased these guys from the Victoria Beckham Beauty website. Sometimes they show up at other retailers, but the Victoria Beckham website is usually the best place to get them. And I will link everything down below, by the way, guys. I do use affiliate links, so if you like this review and you wanna support my channel, shopping through my links is a great way to do so. So I'll just have that little shopping guide down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. I will go put on some mascara and I will be right back to show you guys the finished look. All right, so this is the shade Ballet. I have two coats of the Victoria Beckham Vast Lash Mascara on my lashes, which by the way, I really, really like. I like both of her mascaras. But comment down below and let me know what you think of this shade. I think it's a really beautiful, soft, one and done shade for every day. It's very bright. It's very youthful, very, very natural. I do think that this is probably the most dupable shade out of the three. If you already have a lot of pink eyeshadow palettes or maybe, you know, La Mercier sticks, things like that, you might have a shade that's a little bit similar. I'm already thinking of like a lot of the Dior Spring palettes that came out this year. This shade is very, very popular. I will show you guys two little comparisons right here. So we have the Ballet right here at the top. This is the other eyeshadow stick from Victoria Beckham in the shade Macaron. And then this is the limited edition eyeliner, the Satin Casual eyeliner that she launched last year. And this is in the shade cherry blossoms. You can see they're all very different, but you know, we think of this one, we think of pink and we wonder, is it close at all? It is not. This is more of like a matte tone. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit of an idea, but yeah, man. I just love like the golden peachy tone of ballet. So this one is definitely kind of like an everyday shade for me. All right, friends, I have fresh eyes and now it is time for the cornflower blue. I feel like a lot of you guys are excited about this one and I can see why because this one is the most unique and very trendy for spring. So you might not already have this color in your collection. This is going to be in a matte texture, as I mentioned earlier. Woo! 
look how pretty that is. It's like a beautiful summer sky. Let's get fresh brush. This is a BK Beauty 203. It's very easy to blend. Sometimes with these brighter colors, you get things that are like a little bit chalky. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Sometimes these colors don't always pan out well when you actually go to blend them on the eye, but I feel like this is good. I feel like it's blending out just as well as like the macaron and what is it called? The sunflower, the bright yellow one that she launched with. So that's kind of what it looks like if I don't do it under the eye, but I wanna do a little bit on the lower lash line as well. And then we'll go do the other eye. Ooh, I feel like this doesn't look right until we get the mascara on. Another little tip guys, is if you have multiples of these, try layering them. In fact, we'll do a little bit of that after I get this on. You can kind of mix and match them. And one of the best ways to do that is with a matte shade and with a shimmer shade. All right, so here's what it looks like so far with the cornflower blue on both of the eyes. Now I wanna show you guys how you can mix in some of the shimmer shades with like these brighter colors, just to make it, just kinda like tie everything together. And the shade by far, if you don't have the shade, pay attention guys, okay? The shade that works the best for this, that is the most versatile and probably worth your money to pair with the brighter shades, is Oyster, okay? Let me swatch this actually real quick. This is a beautiful shimmering, neutral and this one just layers on top of these so so well so i'm gonna pop this one here on the inner corner and then here look i'll show you you could layer it on top like that and just use your finger kind of like tap 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 it in see how it added like that brightness to the center there kind of like opens up the whole look so it's not as like flat and blue which is fine but you know it's like a little bit more um editorial i guess you could call it all right so here is the cornflower blue with the two coats of mascara and a little bit of that oyster shade in there for kind of like a highlight Comment down below, let me know what you think of this color. Is this something that you would wear? Do you think it's a little bit too bright? I do have some comparisons here on my hand once more to show you guys. So I have the Cornflower Blue. And then right here I have the Blueberry Eyeliner that Victoria Beckham launched last year. That one is gonna be a lot brighter, more electric, more saturated, whereas the Cornflower is definitely more of like a pastel. And then one of you guys was asking me if I could also swatch the blue shade from the new Chanel Revage palette. So I went and swatched that right there. I don't think that they're really similar at all. I would say this is more of like a sky blue and then the cornflower is more of, like I said, kind of like a pastel, something that has a white base. Let me know what you think. Do you think that they're different enough? Comment down below. We are now gonna go into the third shade, which is Shroom. Editing Sophia here. I do apologize for the echoiness in this next clip. I think something happened to my mic. So for the next minute or so, it's gonna be a little bit echoey. Bear with me guys, because this shade is absolutely gorgeous and it does get better by the end of the video very much apologies. This is a beautiful brown, a beautiful neutral for my cool tone lovers out there. It's going to be shimmery. It's going to have kind of like a silvery shimmer to it as opposed to the ballet shade, which had a gold shimmer to it. And I have a feeling, guys, that this is going to be her new bestseller because so many of us love our cool tone neutral shades. So let's get this on my lid. Blend this in. All right, friends. And this is the final look with Shroom comment down below and let me know what you think. I really like the sultriness of this shade, but it still is soft. Like it kind of adds a smokiness, but it's not too, too heavy. I really think that this is going to be the new bestseller in her line. Okay. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. You guys let me know what you think of this shade. And you know what? When I was applying the mascara, I noticed that this shade, it has a little bit of like a lavender tone to it. And I want to show you the comparisons that I have here right now. So this up here, is shroom. See how it's like a little bit purpley there? And then right here, we have the caramel shade, we have trench, and we also have pecan. So those are gonna be matte, and the caramel is a shimmer. Those are all the eyeshadow sticks, guys. And then I also have swatches here of the satin eye casual liners, because I know, you know, those are kind of like smudgy, so you can kind of use them as eyeshadow sticks, but they're not totally exact, and they're not as long lasting, which I'll demonstrate in just a second. So right here, we have cocoa right here we have smoky quartz we have the cinnamon shade that's the newest one and we have the bronze and you just really don't get this like beautiful sultry soft
softness that you have with this eyeshadow stick. So I, I do think that this, at least in the Victoria Beckham line, is pretty unique. And I can't think of any other like cool tone eyeshadow sticks that I have that have this beautiful, beautiful undertone. And then real quick, I do just want to demonstrate a quick swatch test here just so you can kind of get an idea of the longevity of these eyeshadow sticks. So right here we have one of these satin Kajal eyeliners. You can see that this, it's like a lot more smudgy. You know, it's been on my hand for like a couple minutes now. So it's going to be more smudgy and creamy when you first apply it. These are great for kind of like smoking out the lash line. But when it comes to the eyeshadow sticks, I have shroom swatched right here. These don't really do that, right? Like you get maybe if you really, really rub it, like you can get a little bit of it kind of wearing off. Like even when I go like that. See, it has so much staying power. Even as I'm trying to wipe off the swatches during this review, I like have to scrub a little bit. They come off very easily with makeup remover or like a makeup eraser, for example. But if you just put them on and have them on your face throughout the day, they're really great. So if you have oily eyelids or something like that, maybe you get a lot of smudging, highly recommend you check these out. So what are my final thoughts, friends? I think that all three of these shades are absolutely gorgeous. I think that the quality is there, the blendability is there, the longevity is there. They don't crease on my eyes. And I think all the shades are really cute and wearable for spring. I think it just depends on like what shades you already have in your collection. Which one do you think you're gonna get the most wear out of? These are $34, you know, so they're up there. They're up there for a single shadow. I'm not gonna say that these are cheap, but the packaging is beautiful. The quality is there. So I definitely, definitely recommend them. I think if you want something soft for daytime, just kind of like an everyday shade, I would go with the ballet. Just look in your collection and see, you know, like, do you already have a lot of pinks? I think if you want something unique, if you have a lot of eyeshadow, if you wanna play around with spring colors go for the cornflower and then i think you know if you want something a little bit more sultry but still neutral you don't want to go like too much out of the box something very what i think of when i think of victoria beckham you know like very sophisticated but also natural then i would go with the shroom so yeah guys i love all of them honestly i mean i'm not surprised i highly recommend them hopefully this guide helped you figure out if you want to pick any of them up comment down below and let me know what you think of these new shades give this video a thumbs up if you liked it Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.